time for a Daddy Parker day at Animal Kingdom. Woohoo! Yeah. Let's do it. First time on Cali River Rapids. Are you ready, Parker? Can you show me your wristband? We got a special wristband because you're 38, so you're going to get a special bar to hold on to for safety. Who's that cat? This is super kitty. Super kitties! You see the snake? And all of these little guys? Here we go! Here we go! We're so excited! You excited? Parker! You ready? I don't want to do it. Your fingers. Oh my god. Hi, Kate. We're intertwining. No, I can't be back. We're gonna pull backwards. No, it doesn't. We're gonna pull backwards. 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 Gone. They're not gonna be white anymore. I like his shoes. I love Paw Patrol. I love Paw Patrol. is my jail. It's my jail. Oh, this is a little one. Yeah, this is a little one. This is nothing. No, no, put the water bottle! The water bottle! The water bottle! The water bottle! What's going on? He's putting, 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 he's it's gonna be us. It's gonna be us. It's gonna be us. It's gonna be us. It's us. It's us. It's us. Help her, bro. Jenny! Go back! Jenny, get off me! Jenny, get off me! She got wet! No! That was gonna be me! You ready? You ready? You ready? Hold on! There you go! Did it get you? Are we done? done? Is it done? No. Did you get all wet? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Parker just braved the raft ride. Let's go to Dino World. What do you see? You see a big dino? Oh my gosh. What do you think of that? We're going under his feet, Parker. We are visiting Dino Rama for some dinosaur fun. And it's also our first time coming to Donald's Dino Bash. We've never really done this. All right, next is Triceratops Spin. Parker is admiring the dino through the trees as we get in line. Look at those Triceratops. Hey Parker, do I get to drive the Triceratops or you? Me. <laughs> you, what about me? No, me. Okay. Me. Hey Parker, what kind of dinosaur are we on? A triceratops. A triceratops. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. So windy. Bring us up. Whoa, look over there. What do you see? Go all the way up. Look so you can see. Whoa, we're flying! 
We're flying. Whoa, do you see that Bronco? There it is. Oh, that's so sad. There's the Bronto! Woohoo! The Bronto! Time to take a break to hug Daisy and see the Parasaur. She's so cute, right, Parker? You're waiting so patient. Very good job. Here she comes. Parker, look. Take her hand. Daisy, he wanted to give you a big hug. You ready? Oh, he's like bracing himself. What's going on? Go for it. Give Daisy a big hug. Much better, right? Yeah, you like Daisy's dinosaur, don't you? We're very big into dinos right now, Daisy. Yeah. So he was excited that you have your own pet dinosaur. Do you, oh, go with Daisy. She's going to show you the dino. She says, hi. Can you pet the dino? Good job. Okay, next, Parker wanted to play games. So we have our tickets and we're going to play. So Parker chose Comet Crasher, which is your typical throw the ball and try to get it in the color game. We're gonna try to win a dino, even though we have them all at home. All right. Parker, high five! You got the blue! There you go. There you go, say thank you! What did you win? Show me! You wanna play again? He's so cool. We're gonna play again, but this time we're gonna be blue, okay? We were lucky on the green. Wait till the man tells you to go. That's up to you. I mean, if you're gonna... All right. Okay, let's move this. You could go. Wait, 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 wait. Here. That one? Okay. Throw it. Throw it, throw it. Go ahead, throw it. Oh, bounced. You can it. You can play on red if you want to. Get another one. Throw it hard. Oh, this bouncing technique's not working. Throw it really hard. Parker, you missed them all that time. Okay, Ready? last ball, go, go for it. Let's see. Ah, oh, get your prize. We still won one. Good job. You're historic for winning prizes off camera, but because I had to hold you, I couldn't film. Look, Parker, there's a dino behind us. Whoa, the other way. He's crazy. Hey, Parker, time for another break, and this time it's Chip and Dale. Yeah, and they're dressed as dinosaurs. I know. Look. Whoa. We never actually have come to meet Chip and Dale as dinosaurs, so this is cool. First time. I'm standing in line and there are bingo songs playing in the background. All right, Parker. You ready? Look at those dinos. Wait till they see you, then go say hi. All right, go give hugs. Go say hi. Don't forget Dale, he's your favorite. Uh, yes. Can you give Dale a hug? You just told me he's your favorite. Oh, they're playing with your triceratops. There you go. Give him a big hug. There you go. Oh, you want to throw it one more time? Oh, all right. All right, thanks, guys. Oh, he, Chip wants to try again. We're having major fails. It's okay. It's the wind. It's the wind. There you go. Oh. That's okay. We'll have to practice. Oh, my goodness. All right, come on, Parker. 
Oh my goodness, we found that's Chippendale's lunch. Oh my goodness. Chipmunks at play. We just had a blast with them. Probably best character meet and greet we've had in a while. <laughs> Boneyard fun. Let's go. Parker's favorite spot at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Woohoo! Good job! So he is going down to one of these. Good job! Yeah, go ahead! Do whatever you want! There he is. Slowly going down. What happened? You stopped. Oh! -ho. We're in the T Rex cave. Both fun and educational. I wonder where he could be. Oh, there you are. Poor guy. Here's his research. Dedication. Here's Mila. Good job, bud. I'm so proud of him. He just put himself in line and is waiting for the big slide. Here he goes, down this giant thing. Good job, babe. Parker is joining the excavation to find some dinosaurs. Look at him hard at work. What a monkey. While others uncover fossils, Parker is covering them. There we go. That's how it happens. What a scientist. There she is, 25 years old. Tree of life. Time for a safari. We're gonna see all the animals, Parker. You see our Jeep? This one's our way here. Many people believe the Okapita bear relative of the zebra due to the striping on their legs and hindquarters, but they're actually the closest relative of the giraffe, which we can tell based on their head shape. They have a very similar skull structure. Okapita have long prehensile tongues that they use to grip the leaves off the bushes they eat so many up, and those tongues are actually there's the crocodile. On our left, we have several Nile crocodile. Nile crocodile are capable of eating up to half their body weight in one meal. You have to stay seated. They may look as though they're sleeping, but I assure you they're not. They are ambush predators, so they're simply awaiting their next meal. The savannah is home to some of the most iconic African animals that we have here on the reserve, such as the Hartman's Mountain Zebra, the Maasai Giraffe, and maybe even some African elephants. Just to name a few, so I'll have to keep our eyes. There they are! Zebras and giraffes! Now, uh, starting things off on the savannah on our front row, we have quite a few different species. We have zebra is black with white stripes, or white with black stripes, or if you were just shave a zebra, you would find those stripes actually go all the way down to their skin, so the answer is actually neither. Those stripes act as a form of camouflage, not with their environment, but more so with each other. As I heard in Peru, those stripes allow them to blend into one another, which makes them every morning. On our left, just past these bushes, are several sable antelope, as well as some Ancoli cattle closer to us. 
Sable antelope are considered to be the most aggressive antelope species and given a fight or flight situation, will typically choose to fight. For that reason, they're the outcome of many African sports teams as well as the outcome of Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Regarding those Ancoli cattle, they're one of two domesticated animals around the reserve. Those horns seem to grow to be around four feet long, but aren't as heavy as you might expect. They're hollow, unlike some other types of horns, and they're filled with a honeycomb-like substance that allows them to diffuse blood throughout those horns to thermoregulate, aka to keep cool. So those horns actually only account for so horns. many giraffes today. Giraffe 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 Do you see another one? I have a really great look at that on the side giraffe off to our right, which is a minority. Giraffes are daddy's favorite. Between 16 and 20 feet tall. Your favorite, too? A big part of that extreme height comes from the Afrikaans, where it's for wild beast. Afrikaans being the language spoken by the Dutch settlers. This guy is really smart, however, I just care about the giraffes. Have another decent look at a Maasai giraffe out there to our left. We can tell that these are Maasai giraffe from their spots. Their spots are more spread out and less well defined oh, than other saw giraffe us. species. There's another giraffe. More giraffe. Being covered with skin and fur. When giraffe babies are born, they fall around six feet and are then up and walking within their first 30 minutes of life. And just like their cousins, the Okapi giraffes have a long prehensile tongue, so they used to grip the leaves off the bushes they eat some in. But their tongues are actually purple, which helps protect against sunburn, with all the mountain about high up for so many hours of the day. Both male and female African elephants have tusks, so we can't use that to determine which we're seeing. Part of the fact that we only I do believe that that is our oldest and heaviest male. He is 40 years old and close to 13,000 pounds. Whoa. Where I left is a flock of greater flamingos, the lightest shaded pink of all flamingo species. When they hatch, they're a light gray color and mixed in, although they really are starting to look like the adults. We do have a couple roughly 12 month old chicks that can still be identified by their grayish necks and legs, as well as some black speck line at the base of their tails. We gain their complete paint coloration around a year and a half of age from the vast quantity of brine shrimp they consume, which are high in carotene. We can tell that that is a female from her grayish feathers. Males have much darker, blacker feathers. They're also a little smaller than the males, standing around six feet tall. Males can stand in excess of seven, and they're also one of the only flightless birds. We have another juvenile. Up on those Kopi rock formations to our over their territory. Although quite often it does mean sleeping as you can see. Oh, and there's the male. The male can weigh as much as 40 pounds. Despite that regal and powerful appearance, it is the females or lionesses that will do the hunting for the lions. They go out at night to hunt while the males stay back and keep watching. They have a bit of a pot belly like appearance. This is due to goats being a type of ruminant to mean that they have segmented stomachs. So basically they have four stomachs inside those big bellies. Those goats. 